Hi ladies and gentlemen, my name is Tony Hollowitz and I want to talk to you about editing a layout in Act. And in this particular tutorial, we are going to talk about editing the user one field. Now in my previous tutorial I said, you know, you might want to create a field for your business. Maybe it's the dog's name, the spouse's name, the favorite color. It could be anything. And what ACT has done is they've put 10 user fields in here, user 1 through user 10, that you can go in and customize. And really, for most people, what you really want to do is you want to change the name of the field. So let's say, for example, user 1, we want to change to color, so we know the person's favorite color. Well, this is what you do. First, you're going to go to Tools, and you're going to go down to Design Layouts, and go over, and because this is a contact layout, and that's what we're going to focus on for most of our tutorials, I'm going to click on Contact. What's going to occur is Axe Design Layout, or Layout Designer, is going to come up on the screen. Now, my experience has been, just so you know, some little things in this can get quirky based on the resources of your computer, the strength or power of your computer. So if certain things don't look exactly like what you see on my screen, maybe th some things are a little smaller, then keep in mind that might be a reason why. And I've always said, always reach out to an ACT certified consultant or a consultant such as myself to help you with this. Because layouts are one of those things that you can really mess up if you don't have experience with it. And there are some steps you should take. One of those steps is the first thing you should do is when you come into a layout that you're about to modify, even just minor modifications, the first thing I always recommend you do is go up to File, and go down to Save As. And we're going to give this layout a new name. Now, more than anything, this layout right here is called the Basic Contact Layout-800 by 600. All I'm going to do is at the end of this, I'm going to just type in User Field 1. Because this is what I'm going to modify, and I'm going to go Save. So now we've saved this. What that does is it is it doesn't overwrite our original layout so if we mess something else or something up we can always go back to it. Uh, next I'm gonna come down to where it says user fields <coughs> excuse me and I'm gonna click on this tab over here I want you to observe where it says user 1 now we cannot edit this field in here in other words we can't edit the name of the field here we have to go elsewhere. We have to go into an area of ACT called Define Fields to change the name of this. So what I'm going to do is now that I've saved this layout, I'm going to show you this step in renaming a user field. I'm going to come up, click on Save. I'm then going to close this down. I'm going to flip over to it right here. I'm going to choose the basic contact layout, 800 by 600. Let's see, where is it? There it is, user field 1. I'm going to draw your attention to the, it says user 1. So now to change this title, I'm going to come up to Tools. I'm going to go down to Define Fields. These are all my fields in here. I'm going to click on Edit Field. Because I had clicked in user field 1, it will automatically take me to user field 1. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to type in Color for favorite color. I'm going to click on next. Now I'm going to go through these just to show you. Basically I could have just clicked on finish because I was done. Next when I do this I'm going to close this and now I want you to observe that when this flips over it doesn't say user field 1. Now what my experience has been is sometimes what you need to do is you need to change the layout or sometimes you even have to go as far a shutting down act and restarting it and when you do that I think you should see that the user field 1 has changed to color so what I'm gonna do at this point is I'm gonna pause this video for just a minute I'm gonna shut down act and I'm gonna start it up again so let me show you how I do that 